It's the Frontline Theater. Today, presenting a rollicking comedy right out of your favorite comic strip, Chick Young's famous Blondie. And as our special guest, Jerry Wald and his orchestra. This is Ken Niles welcoming you once again to the Frontline Theater, brought to you men in the armed forces of the United Nations by the Special Service Division of the War Department. This is your theater, and every performance in it is presented especially for you, the men fighting with the United Nations on freedom's front line. It's a zany comedy today, the title, Please Not C.O.D. The leading characters, well, you've laughed at them if you've read the comic pages anywhere from Seattle to Miami, Dagwood Bumstead, who spends his life inventing big sandwiches and knocking down mailmen, pretty patient Blondie, and Baby Dumpling, who has grown into Alexander Bumstead. Well, it's a nice bright morning, and today Blondie and Dagwood have planned to do a little shopping just as soon as they get Alexander off to school. Say, Pop, yeah, uh-huh. do I have to take this book back to the library today? It, well, uh, is it overdue? Not much. Hmm. About how much overdue is it? Oh, just since Christmas. Ew. <laughs> it's your own fault, Alexander. I reminded you several times to take that book back. Yeah, uh, look, uh, Alexander, you uh, sneak back with it today, see? Dagwood. And, it, on, and if they catch you, tell them to send your father a bill on the first. Okay, Pop. Now hurry, dear. You'll be late for school. I'm going right now, Mommy. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, goodbye baby. Dumpling. See you after school. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Someone's at the front door, Dagwood. Mm-hmm. I'll get it, honey. <laughs> Good morning, sir. COD from Ormandy's department store. $398. Yeah, whoa, Blondie. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what am I saying? Huh? $3.98. That's better. Uh, it's a lot cheaper, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it, Blondie? Huh? Well, I don't know. My, it's a big package. What do you suppose it could be? Don't ask me, madam. I'm only supposed to deliver. It's against the rules to peek. Uh, I can tell you one thing, though. It doesn't rattle and it doesn't gurgle. Uh, Well, I I guess it's something I ordered a long time ago. Deliveries are pretty slow these days. Very true, very true. true. But we digress. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let's get back to the financial end of this. Three ninety-eight, please. Mm. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, Dagwood, have you got your money with you, dear? Uh, let's see. Well, I, I could uh, give you a couple of dollars, I think, Blondie. Oh, let's well, see now. I guess I've got the rest of it in my purse. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Well, here comes a ten-minute wait. I've seen women rummage through their handbags before. Uh, do you mind if I slouch against your door? Yeah. Oh, no. Go right ahead. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Let's see, uh, here's a dollar bill and a dollar in change. Uh, just poke the bill in my pocket and drop the change in my hat. Yeah, okay. There. Well, now, here we are. Just a minute now. And... Oh, Dagwood, yeah. here's that silver pin I've been looking all over for. Oh, yeah. Oh, just take your time, lady. I've only got four or five hundred other packages to deliver. Oh. Hey, Buster, uh, where'd you get this 50-cent piece? What? See how it sounds. Hmm. Mm. Did you make it yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Blondie, you'd better find 50 cents more. Uh, we need 248. Uh, yeah. I prefer it in real money. Uh, well, now, here, here's two dollars in bills, and... Oh, my, my other lipstick. I wondered what had happened to it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I could have told you if you'd asked me. Oh, well, now, now, what's now, that, now, Blondie? Now, here, here, here's the 48 cents. Well, thank you, and here's your package. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <Yeah. laughs> well, Dagwood, let's see what it is. Oh, mm, yeah. Gee, gee, it looks like some kind of a bridge table. It is a bridge table, and a complicated one, too. Yeah. Levers and springs and buttons and things. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't order this. Y- you didn't? No. Oh, my. Uh, uh, where's the address slip? Well, there it is, dear. Let's see. Hmm. It's addressed to Mrs. J. Randolph Plush. Yeah. Well, Dad, what I think she lives about five or six blocks from here. It's not for us at all. Oh, oh, oh smoke it. Just a second. Hey, delivery man! Hey! Hey! Hi, Mr. Plush! Yeah, well, hey, wait a minute! Oh, there he goes. Oh, well, never mind, Dagwood. On our way to the bus, we can stop at Mrs. Plush's and deliver the table and collect from her. Knock again, Dagwood. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, nothing today, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> well, that was a short conversation. That wasn't a conversation. That was a synopsis. <laughs> Now, stay here, my good man. Oh, I now, just a minute, Mrs. Plush. Didn't you order a bridge table sent COD from Ormandy's department store? Oh, oh, yes. Are you the delivery girl? Yeah, no, no. It was delivered to us by mistake. Yeah, we brought it along for you on our way to the bus. <laughs> oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, well, wait a minute. Uh, that's $3.98 cash. Oh, oh, well, you see, I gave a bridge party for my club yesterday, and I needed this table then. Uh, but everything went off beautifully without it. Mm. I won the first prize myself. Of course, I always do. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's because of the wonderful system my partner and I have invented. Mm. Uh, Mark cards? Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. That would be cheating. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you see, when I pick up my hand and look at them, if they're not good, I mm. say, partner, I believe I have 14 cards. That's a signal to my partner. Uh. Now, if she has a good hand, she says, count your cards again. But if she has a bad hand, too, she says, I only have 12 cards. And we both throw our hands into the middle of the table and call it a misdeal. <laughs> <laughs> Clever, isn't it? <laughs> you must have had a nice, friendly bridge game. Oh, yeah. Does anyone ever get crippled? <laughs> oh, no, 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 not yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, about this bridge table, Mrs. Yeah, Plush. Yeah, $3.98, yeah. please. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, the bridge table. Yeah, the bridge table. Oh, huh? oh, it was so cute of you to bring it over. But I don't want it anymore. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you see, it's the wrong color. It wouldn't match my cocktail toothpicks. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'll just give us the money we gave the delivery man for it, we'll leave the table with you and you can send it back. Yes. Oh. oh, but I don't want it. Oh, but neither do we. <laughs> well, I was going to send it back after the party anyway. Mm. Oh, but we paid for it. Oh, how tragic. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. You have my sympathy. <laughs> uh, we'd rather have your $3.98. <laughs> My dear man, surely you don't expect me to buy something I don't want, do you? Besides, it, it's one of those complicated tables where you press a button and the legs fly out. No, I'll let you keep it. Uh, Mrs. Plush, we don't want it. I don't blame you, dear. But you can always use an extra bridge table, I always say. Well, well this is rather embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your thoughtfulness. Goodbye. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You can't do this to us. It's not fair. Blondie, she's taking advantage of our sweet disposition. The idea. Yeah, I'd like to get my hands around her neck and... and oh, hello again. <laughs> well, here you are. Here's a quarter for your trouble. Oh, uh, thank you. Hey, uh, what did she think I am, a bellboy? <laughs> Don't take it, Dag. We'll just leave it on the step. Mm, okay, I'll leave the quarter. It, hey, it's counterfeit. I might have known it. Oh, Dagwood, look. There's the delivery man across the street. Let's give the table back to him quick. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, hey, come on. Hey, delivery man. Hey. Oh, delivery man. Hey, wait a minute. Don't go away. Hello, folks. Well, well. So it was a bridge table. Uh, yeah. Now if we can only dig up a fourth somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you delivered this to us by mistake. It was supposed to go to Mrs. J. Randolph's plush. Yeah. She's the lady, I mean, she's the woman in that house right there. Mm, yeah. Here, now, you just give us our money back and, and you can deliver it to uh, Mrs. Plush. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Sorry, folks, but the matter is entirely out of my hands now. Oh, but it's really very simple. Not anymore, it isn't. Well, what's so difficult about it? Well, in the first place, you accepted a COD which wasn't for you in the second place. Ah. So you shouldn't have paid me for it in the third place or unwrapped it in the fourth place. And besides, in the fifth place, I'm not allowed to return money in the first place. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, don't you think... Besides, Mrs. Plush would probably send it back anyway, and I'd have to explain how it happened that one item was sent back by two different people. Yeah, yeah, but don't uh, you a think... A thing like this would be a snap for a sloppy delivery company. Uh. But with us, it would take weeks. We're too efficient. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, now, now, wait a minute. You could return the table for us without giving us our money back now, couldn't you? Well, yes, I could. Oh, that's oh. fine. Here, take it. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, uh? First, you have to fill out three blanks. Mm. A, our COD form. Mm. B, our application for a refund. And C, our wrong delivery blank. Oh. Yeah. All in triplicate. Yeah. 
Uh, that is, if you can get a priority on carbon paper. Yeah. <laughs> you mean we'd have to fill out all those? That's ridiculous. Oh, no, not yet. The ridiculous part comes later. You also have to show your birth certificate, social security card. I haven't got a social security card. We'll wait while you get one. <laughs> you also need two letters of reference, mm. one from your bank and one from your draft board. Mm. Now, both letters have to be enthusiastic. Then you get the whole thing notarized and send it in. It takes about three hours for these preliminaries. Uh, preliminaries? I is there any more? Oh, sure. Then our Mr. Grapple comes to see you in two or three weeks. Yeah. What does Mr. Grapple do, huh? He's not very helpful. Oh, he isn't, eh? Hey? No, he's got more forms for you to fill out. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. All in all, I'd say you'd get your refund shortly after the duration. Uh, provided that during the duration we don't go into bankruptcy. Yeah. I think that's an awful way to run a business. Ain't it, though? <laughs> <laughs> Rage. Come on, give me that bridge table back. Yes, sir, here you are. Uh, there. Well, I shouldn't think that anyone would ever send anything back if you have to go through all that red tape. That's what the company figures. We discourage refunds. Uh, any more questions? No, no, we've heard enough. Thank you. I'm glad to have been of service to you. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Oh, and the same to you. Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to get on the bus and take it back to Ormandy's ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, but how are we going to sneak this big table on the bus? All right, now step back to the rear of the booth, please. <laughs> Step back to the rear. Come on now, folks. You thinking I'm yelling my head off just to wear out my tongue? Step back to the rear of the bus, police. Wouldn't you know the bus would be crowded? Yeah, but uh, we're the ones who are crowding it. Oh, this bridge table is sort of awkward, Blondie. I, I wish I could hide it in my pocket or something. Well, we can't help it, dear. Ah, yeah. oh, no, quiet. now, folks, I, I'm awfully sorry there ain't any seats. And I want to apologize on behalf of I and the Bush Company. But if you don't move back, I'm going to lose my temper and throw you all our years! <laughs> uh, oh, Dagwood. Yeah, it, this doesn't look so good for us, Blondie. Well, why ain't anybody moving? Oh, dear. Are y'all deep? Do I have to strain me tonsil some more? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll just stop the Bush. <laughs> Well, I hope I didn't injure no one permanent. <laughs> now, now let's see who's responsible for our little difficulty here. Uh oh, here he comes. One Wendy. side now, come on, one side, please. Let me through now. Let me through, folks. I'm going to find out who's doing this to me, Bush. Well, 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 now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ah, oh, so you're a little bottleneck, huh? Yeah. Um, what do you got to say? Uh, this is a nice bus. <laughs> uh, um, good morning, Mr. Uh, Conductor. Uh, just, a, just a bridge table, huh? Yeah, a little yeah. bridge table. Oh, oh now imagine a little thing like that causing any congestion. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you see, we uh, had to take it downtown, and, and we were sure you wouldn't mind if uh, we... Uh, 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 uh. Now, lady, don't turn those beautiful blue blinkers of yours on me and expect me to fall flat on my face. Oh, I wasn't doing anything of the kind. Uh, well, look, uh, Mr. Conductor, it isn't a very big bridge table. <laughs> we're just going to Ormandy's department store and... Yeah. Ah, not on this bus, you're not. Oh. No, sorry. No, you pick up this bridge table and get off. And don't give me no arguments. Oh. Get off! Oh. Wait a minute. I want our money back. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah, on second thought, I wouldn't think of accepting it. Come on, Dad. Come on, come on, come on. Get going, get going. We're holding up traffic. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Holy smoke. Now, now what's happening? Yeah, I must have pressed the button that makes the legs fly out. Oh, <laughs> well, make them fly back in again. Yeah, well, I, I don't think I, I know how to do it. Oh, Gloria. Yeah, oh, if I can just to find the little thing. Oh, please. Oh, excuse me, lady. <laughs> Do you know how to do the... I haven't the faintest idea, Dad. Look here, look here. Half of the table is in my seat, and one of the legs is through the steering wheel. Yeah. 
Now I can't drive the bus till you get that thing out of the way. Oh, yeah. Here, here, let me have that thing. Look out, look out. Now, 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 let me have that. Oh, be careful, my stop. Yeah. Hey, 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 stop that. We've got to return that thing. Who cares about that? Ah, <laughs> oh, there now. I done it. Yeah. Huh? The legs folded up. Yeah. Hey, how did you do that? <laughs> I ain't telling. Yeah. <laughs> now get off of this bus. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, here's Where's your table. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, I will. Look come on, home. come on. Stop the hockey, you idiot. It's not my fault. I can't have this thing happen on my foot. Stop hogging. Now you, you get out of this bush and walk to Ormandy's. Goodbye. Oh, oh, Dagwood. Yeah, oh, Blondie. <laughs> The Curtain Falls on the first act of Please Not C.O.D., the frontline theater edition of one of your favorite comic strips, Blondie. During intermission, one of America's ace bands, Jerry Wald and his orchestra, play a special frontline theater arrangement of I'm Coming, Virginia. Thank you, Jerry Wald. And now the second act of today's comedy, Please Not C.O.D., a Blondie story especially for you. Well, it's somewhat later, and Blondie and Dagwood, a bit footsore and weary, have finally arrived at Ormandy's department store with a bridge table. They are just approaching the adjustment counter. Mr. Periwinkle? Mr. Periwinkle? Well, here it is, right here, Dagwood. Uh, here. Oh, oh, boy. And what a relief, though. Be to get this table off my hands. It's suddenly gotten a lot heavier, Blondie. Yeah, I guess that man over there is the one we talked to. Where? The man polishing his nails on his lapel. Oh, yeah. I'll see if I can get his attention here. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> huh? He's pretending he doesn't see us. Yeah. Ahem. <clears throat> uh-huh. uh-huh. He's watching us out of the corner of his eye. Yeah. Hey. Were you coughing for me? <laughs> May we disturb you a moment? Apparently. Yeah. Well, uh, we would like to return this bridge table. Mm-hmm. All through using it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we haven't used it at all. It was a COD sent to us by mistake. Yeah. We'd like our money back. Yeah, $3.98. Uh, just count it right out in my hand, thank you. 
pie today. Huh? Well, aren't you going to do anything about it? I'm trying to decide. Lovely <laughs> day. Are we disturbing your sleep? No, 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 no. I'm not paying any attention to you, really. Oh! I don't see how you hold your job here. Well, you see, I'm married to Mr. Ormandy's niece. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, please give us the 398 and you can go back to sleep. Thank you. Well, it all sounds very complicated, really. If you don't give us a little action, I'm going to raise the loudest holler you ever heard. Mm hmm. Well, about how loud is that? About how loud? Huh? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to hear me holler? Mm hmm. You do, huh? Mm-hmm. Help! I'm being robbed in Albany! Help! I'm being robbed! Wait, wait, wait. Not too loud, please. Uh, please. Now, yeah. now, will you take care of us? Yeah. I'm all ready to let it go again. No, no, no. Please, please yeah. don't yell like that. I won't be able to take another nap this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get our money back? Well, uh, fortunately for me, madam, you've come to the wrong place. You should be at the complaint window. Oh, where's that? Mm, oh, the next window, right there. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Not at all, not at all. Oh, yes, there it is, Dagwood, see? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'll put the table down. Is anyone back of the window? Not yet, dear, but I think someone's coming. <laughs> So, uh, it's you again. Mm-hmm. May I help you, sir? Mm-hmm. Now, see here. We've had enough of this fooling around. Yes. You know what our problem is and what we want. Oh, that was when I was at the adjustment window. Now, this is the complaint department. Yeah. Believe me, it's entirely different. Yeah. Stand back, Blondie. I'm going to yell again. Uh, uh, one moment, yeah. please. Uh, what time is it? Um, one o'clock. Oh, sorry. This is my lunch time. I'll have to be running along now. Goodbye. <laughs> Dagwood, I'm so exhausted. Yeah, I never thought we'd find the furniture department. Yeah, and it's kind of a nice place to sit down, isn't it? Dagwood. Huh? Look. What? There's a man walking over to the card table. That man with the derby hat and the big feet. Hey, hey, hey Blondie, if he gets interested in it, I'm going to sell it to him. Oh? Then we can get our money back. Mm, he doesn't look like a man who plays bridge. He looks more like a pinochle player. Mm, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll see what I can do. All right, dear. And if this doesn't work, I'm in favor of giving the card table away. Yeah, well, never mind, honey. You just watch me. Ha. Uh, <clears throat> good afternoon, sir. Hello, bud. Yeah. Are you uh, interested in this marvelous little bridge table? Yeah. I'm interested in it. Oh, boy, no sales resistance. That's fine. <laughs> it's a, a very wonderful table. You see, when you want the legs to come out... You uh, just press a button. Mm-hmm. Now, what button is that? It, huh? Oh, well, there's a little button right here. It's, uh, well, right here someplace. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, when you want them to fold up again? Uh, well, you just unpress the button. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a very fine table. Uh, it's so strong you can stand on it. Uh, see the picture of the man standing on it here? Yeah. Uh, would you like to stand on it? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, no. no, I guess not. Well, it's now selling at the very low price of three ninety eight. Hmm. I'll make it three fifty for a fast sale. It's a steal. Yeah, robbery. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> well, I'll take it for three ninety eight. Uh, you got two cents? <laughs> oh, sure. I'm always willing to put in my two cents. Ha ha. Yeah, you look it. <laughs> now here's four one dollar bills. <laughs> okay. It's- your table. Well, so long. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Uh, huh? No sales slip? Oh, no, no, no sales slip. You don't want anyone, do you? I don't, huh? Oh, it's so unnecessary. Uh, just take it home. It's yours now. Shall I wrap it up, or would you like to eat it here? Uh, I mean, would you like to play a few little hands on it? Huh? One moment, Snorky. Uh-huh. I'm not a customer. I'm the head of the store detectives. Mm, I wondered why you had such big... F- Whoa! <laughs> you, you are? Well, I'll see you later. No, no, you don't. You're not a clerk here, and you're under arrest for selling an article belonging to the store. Now, come along with me. Let let go of me. Come on with me, jailbird. Blondie! And that's how it all happened, Mr. Detective. Yeah. We'll swear it on a stack of sales slips. Well, sounds plausible. Uh, Thank you. As any good alibi should. 
It's not an alibi. The man in the complaint department paid no attention to us. He doesn't have to. He's married to Mr. Ormandy's niece. Mm. She certainly got gypped. Well, you still haven't proved that you own this bridge table. Yeah, well, we can prove it. But... To me, this is just an open and shut case. And so is the bridge table, only we haven't found out how to shut it. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to make the arrest. Now, you just listen to me. Huh? I don't want to lose my temper, but we've had just about enough of this. Yeah. If you want to throw us in jail for this, you just go right ahead and see how much trouble you and the store get into. Yeah, there but, are plenty but... of people who've had complaints and ran into the man who married Mr. Ormandy's niece. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they all marched on Ormandy's store and tore the whole place yeah, down. Well, now, if look... you want to make yourself look pretty silly, you just go right ahead and throw us in jail. Go ahead. Yeah, We're not worried. Are we, Hagwood? No. <laughs> I always tremble a little like this. Well? Well, uh, now, Mrs. Bumstead, we don't want to cause any trouble. Uh, I'd like to. I'm tired and I'm mad. Uh, now, can we take this table back? Uh, uh, by the way, uh, first you better give me my four dollars back. Here are your two pennies. Uh, well, uh, couldn't you just get the money back yourself on, on the table? Oh, huh? no, no, I need those bills. They're marked. Uh, you see, I've written right on them here. Mark money. Yeah, oh, oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Besides, I can't even return things in this store myself. But I may be able to in another six months if all goes well. <laughs> Oh, what do you mean? Well, I'm carrying on a romance with another of Mr. Ormandy's nieces. <laughs> well, now that I have my four dollars, it's my sad duty to tell you we won't take the table back. You, you what? After oh. all this trouble? Well, in the first place, it's in rather bad condition now. You see, it's scratched and scarred and banged around. Yeah. Well. In the second place, this was sold at a special sale. No refunds or exchanges. Ah. In a few words, folks, from where you're standing, there's an eight ball directly in front of you. You gotta keep the table. Oh, Dagwood, huh? take me home. Oh, Dagwood, I've never been so glad to get home in all my life. I'm nearly ready to clap. Yeah, one more step and I'll come all unglued. <laughs> well, I suppose we can always use another bridge table. Yeah. I'm glad this is a good one, though. I've uh, I found out how it works now, Blondie. Oh. <laughs> and the other bridge tables like it at Ormandy's had tags on them saying a man could stand on it. I it's a good, strong table. That's good. Yeah, you, you just press the button and... Uh, <laughs> see, I... Hmm. You know, I wonder if you could stand on it. I don't know. I'll be happy just as long as it's strong enough to hold the weight of two decks of cards and four plates of sandwiches. Yeah. Which reminds me... All oh, right, yeah. dear, I'll see what's out in the kitchen. Uh, make my sandwich at least a foot high, Blondie. <laughs> I've had a strenuous time. All right, Dagwood. Yeah, hmm. Hmm, that's some table. I wonder if it would hold my weight. I'm not very heavy. I think I'll try it. Ha. Hey, hey, this is all right. <laughs> I look like the fellow in the picture. <laughs> It's a little shaky, but I can stand right up on it. <laughs> Holy smoke, help! <laughs> well, that's the end of today's Frontline Theater play, Please Not C.O.D., the radio edition of one of your favorite comic strips, Chick Young's famous Blondie. We'll be back soon with more plays and many of the top stars of Broadway and Hollywood. So keep on listening, won't you? Frontline Theater is presented for you men of the Armed Forces of the United Nations by the Special Service Division of the War Department of the United States of America. <laughs>